Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it has been a winter of testing. Has it ever? <laughs> a couple changes here. A couple of changes, one or two. Uh, you guys might have uh, seen a few changes being made to the bag, a few sets being built, a few shafts being built. Yeah. Um, and we have finally ended up with 14 golf clubs here that will go. start the season. Yeah, May 1st here today, so the yes, season exactly. has begun, clubs are open, yeah, it's that's, time to go. That's about the right time to get your bag ready and the, the off season as we have it here in Canada is a good time for testing to it make is. sure you know your bag's where you want it and I've certainly done that. Okay. I don't think any shocks uh, in the, the putter. Nope. It is the champion's, champion's choice. choice. It's been in the bag for two years I was going to say, least. it's got to be at least a couple of years. At least two. Yeah. Uh, I still love it. Two degrees of loft, 34 yeah. and a half uh, on the length, right. 70 degrees on the lie angle, Matty. Um, What's the script called? Is that their standard? Matador. Matador. That's the, uh, it's the one I've always used, the Scotty Matador. Oh, I have nice. an identical backup one with the same grip, same same everything at oh, home. Oh, do you? Nice. Uh, the only case. way I know them apart is uh, one has a shaft band on it and one doesn't. And this one doesn't. Uh, that is literally the only way I can tell them apart, but for nice. the most part they are identical and I do not see those going anyway, uh, anywhere anytime soon. 230 gram weights in the head. Is that so, how it comes? Uh, yes, it is how it, it comes. A little bit on the heavier side that, for a putter okay. of that length. Right. Uh, a little bit on the heavier side, which I do quite like. It doesn't feel like a heavy putter by any means. Well, it's got a nice balance to yeah, it though. Yeah, it has a nice balance. That's, that's the right way to put it. This is the one area um, where there probably will be a, a, a refresh. Um, they'll send me some new ones. Oh, nice. These are you've definitely used these quite. Yeah, I have a well, lot because these are actually my SM eights. Oh, so right. So this okay. is uh, I, I love the shaping that we done in the SM eights, the fifty and uh, this is the fifty six. Fifty six. So this is fifty set as is fifty oh eight. Um, fifty six twelve D. Nice. is set to 55 11. Okay, yep, um, it's a tad stronger. Yep, and a little bit of kind of grind work on that one, leading edge straightened out a little bit just to make sure it transitions it's nicely. Nice. I don't like to see offset in the wedges. Um, so those two are pretty much kind of off the rack in the SM8s. Right, well, for aside the most from part. the grind, yep. Yeah, aside from the grind. This is an SM9 on the, uh, this is the one I brought back. Oh, nice. I left my SM9s in Scotland. Very nice. Uh, I've done something a little bit different with my wedge lofts last year. I played 50, 47. 52, 57, 62. Oh, you had an extra wedge I had uh, a oh, okay. little bit of a different configuration, and I loved how this one played, and I, I wanted to go back to the 50, 55 setup. So this is actually 60. Okay, so not 62. Not gotcha. 62. So yep. we stamped 62 on it for last year, but it actually is, uh, 60. is a 60. Nice. Um, it is a 60, 08. 08, nice. Um, with, uh, with the kind of the, the, the grind um, smoothed out. Right, it's, it, I was going to say, so did totally it have more gone. of a C shape before? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. it's been so flattened all out. All been smoothed out, all been ground away. Yeah, nice. uh, love how it performs, a little bit higher CG uh, with uh, the top line. Definitely. Spins, spins a lot. Does it, yeah? Spins a lot, this nice. one. Um, Good around so the greens then? Love it, absolutely love it. Love it. What kind of shafts are in these? Are they? These are actually KBS Tours. Oh, okay, in yeah. all the wedges. But I, I'm going to try uh, Project X LZ. Yes. Uh, in the wedges when my, my new ones come in. Uh, new wedges are, are basically these. 50, it's going to be these, but a new head. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what it is. 50, 55, uh, a 50, it's actually going, we're going 54 D grind to 55 this time. We're actually going to increase the bounce slightly. Okay, so, so 13. go for, uh, yeah. from 11 to 13. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, here's surprise number one of the day. This is probably the surprise. I don't for, know that anyone most. who's watching this is about to guess what this is going to be. You ready? PXGs. 0317. CB. CB. We were really impressed when you and I tested the 0317 ST, yep. the little combo set. Remember that? Uh, we were really, really impressed when we tested that. Um, I don't remember being as like wild as I was though when, when we saw this one for the first time. Now, you done the review with Mikey a couple yes. weeks ago. Yeah, um, we thought they were amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing, not a bad word to say about them shaping wise kind of as good as it, it gets. Agreed. Yeah, I, I was saying in the video with Mikey that a lot of companies have made um, cavity back irons in the last, let's say, three or four years that are mm -hmm. really nice. Like Tyler has a really nice one. Uh, TaylorMade's really nice. I just thought those were so close to being a blade. Like yep. the size of them is, it, you're this far away from being a blade. Yep. These, I think, they, they maintain a nice kind of um, thin sole mm -hmm. relatively, but the head shape and the thicknesses, it's just a little bit more meat there. Yep. And I think it's just not quite as intimidating to play. 
but they're just, I mean, they're just really nice overall. They're, they're and super soft. Carefully pr proportioned. They're super soft. Yeah, they are so, so soft. Yeah. So most of you would have known the journey with the i230s or yeah. a very short journey. <laughs> it, um, it wasn't the longest. No, so I love those in, in, the, in the test bay, in the lab, in the, in the test environment. I, I love them. I love the idea of more forgiveness and on the golf course, I just couldn't do it. Just too big. You just want something just, more compact. It yeah. just looked, it just didn't look right. It was, it was just, a, it was a fraction too big. Mm. Um, and then when I kind of thought about it, you know, uh, when I played down at Bay Hill a couple of weeks ago, I thought to myself, what is it that I'm really looking for? Mm. And I thought, well, it's actually not so much an I two thirty. It's more of an I blade shape. Okay. That Smaller. type of thing. And that's kind of when you look at an I blade and and, uh, and that's these, not too far. Uh, 0317s, quite quite similar good point. with a fractionally larger top line on these which I actually really really like you like a little bit more there yeah. I do I do no so. these are awesome I think they kind of I said it in the video I think it wasn't really on my radar for irons prior to I, I not that I didn't like PXG's mm -hmm. irons but there was never really a set that I could picture myself playing yeah and then when they came out with these I was like well those are you could play those so in a heartbeat. I'm gonna test them out I'll play a few rounds of golf with them yeah. too I got Cobras to play golf with and those and um, yeah who knows maybe I'll play one one day and one the other. They're both so good, right? Good options. Yeah. Good, good options. So um, that's until so that's wedge to five iron. Wedge to five. And when yeah. you get to four, we've got a JPX nine twenty three four, which is quite cool. Yeah. So I found that uh, there was only about six seven yards between my five iron. So I was I was carrying five iron two hundred yards. I was carrying the four iron about. 207, 208. Okay, so too close. It was too close, too close. yeah. And I wa really wanted it to carry 215 and, and maybe even have slightly more in it. Sure. Um, and that's one thing I loved about the i230 is when I hit the i230 well, it was it was kind of a 220 club. Oh, okay. Um, the forearm was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So with the, the JPX, uh, I love the shape of it, but the loft of it starts at 21. Okay, so you well, get a bit more pop quite, off that. Yeah, yeah, it comes at 21. So with that design, it's it, you've got a really, really deep cavity milled down really deep towards the sole. Yeah. Really brings that CG down, so I can launch this thing really high nice. if I want to. Nice. Uh, and obviously the, the stronger loft gives it the extra ball speed uh, when needed. So yeah, that's awesome. Lovely, uh, lovely blend, and it looks good. It does look really, really good. Yeah, I think it matches the set nice. Not mm -hmm. exactly the same address, but close enough. Yeah. And so. You got LZs in all of them, I noticed. Yeah, nice. LZs in 6 that. 6.0 LZ, 120 grams. Yep. Something I hadn't tried <laughs> for a while, but when we were at PXG and we went through the fit for Gen 6, right. I kind of stumbled on uh, on LZ and hit it again. And mm. what it kind of reminded me of was the feel I had of uh, of the Modus. So oh, that okay. softer midsection yep. that the Modus has also fe I felt like um, like Project XLZ to me feels like a slightly stiffer Modus. Okay. Slightly Just more, a bit stable more stability. Modus, yeah, 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 which I really liked with them. So that's awesome. Uh, love them, and as I say, the new the wedges are coming with those in them as okay, well. Okay, so you basically have the same. Yeah, shafts well, I'm going to match that up, um, which are really really nice. Nice. So these, um, so these have not been, um, they've not been built yet. So these are the ones that literally came from. Uh, oh from right, this PXU is what you got. Yeah. So the boys I haven't had them pulled apart yet. Um, but the boys are going to pull them apart and, and obviously uh, pure them and do do the whole deal. Right. Um, but this was our sample set, our media sample set that That's we right. got. Um, so we will do that in the, the next kind of week or so before awesome. tournament season rolls around. Love it. Okay. So we're getting into the woods. Head mm -hmm. covers are coming off. This has been hard. Ooh. This has been really, really hard. Have you hit this yet? <laughs> this looks brand new. Um, outdoors, no. no I was going to say, no way outdoors. A couple no. balls indoors couple here. A couple balls indoors. Okay, so it's a stealth two... Uh, not the plus and nope. not the players one right in the middle stealth two rescue yep uh, 19 degrees 19 degrees so yeah. I had I had a five wood in the bag yeah uh, we we obviously done it in the, uh, done our test in the channel what I found was five wood was really long right too just, long for just, your just a bit yeah. too long uh, I just and I, I struggle mm. with the distance tell me uh, uh, sent me a seven wood which uh, I still oh, yeah. haven't really done the test with yet but off the tee, um, I, I like the shorter length, and I did have the five and seven would built a, a little shorter, bit shorter. I remember. Uh, Forty-one and a half uh, on the seven wood, and forty-two on the five wood. Right. Uh, no, sorry, forty-one and a half on the five wood, forty-one on the seven wood. Right. Hot melted to swing weight. 
but this this guy was uh, was was kind of not quite as long as the five would. Makes this sense. was the two thirty five carry club, so right. rolls out to about two forty five. But I know I can fly two thirty five on a good strike. Nice, and that's kind of an old favorite of yours. Yeah. Graphite Design Di ninety five S. And I don't yeah I don't like the X. Um, okay, you don't I've, like it? No, not not as much. I prefer the uh, the feel of the S uh, in in that one. So I, I just stuck with uh, stuck with that. Nice. I still think I might go back and forth throughout the year with this with one. This, with this or a five or seven? Yeah, okay. I think the course, so this might be your interchangeable club. This feels like to me like the most stable setup. If I change from this, it'll be course dependent. Sure. It'll sure. be because I have a few tee shots or a few, um, you know, second shots. Maybe like, maybe if I, if I need to have the, the four hybrid in the bag, I've got the exact same uh, okay. four hybrid. So you can do I might the same take thing. that out if, uh, if I need to as well, if there's maybe heavy rough or something like that, right, right, that right. certain course. So I've got three and four hybrid in the Stealth 2 uh, and five and seven wood in the Stealth 2. So one of those four clubs will just be we'll, we'll in that slot. We'll make up two, exactly. Gotcha. I think we're, now we're back in surprise territory again. Surprise number one, three wood is a Sim 2 titanium. This thing is just, it's just unreal. I mean, there's not too many three woods, I would say, in the last five, six years that can, well, maybe almost none, that can keep up distance-wise. This no. is one of the longest three woods ever made. It really is. I've tried, I've tried every three wood out this year, literally every mm. three wood uh, that I would consider. Nothing comes close to this. Interesting. This, this is a kind of, it lives around 155, 156 ball speed. It can be 160 ball speed if I, if I really go after it. Um, and it is just, it's just the perfect three wood for me, shape wise, how mm. it sits, everything about it. it looks great. At it's address. 15 set, uh, uh, one and a half uh, open, so oh, it's, wow, okay. it's 0.75 down and loft. Yeah, so a little bit closer. 14.25. 14. Yeah, awesome. yep. it launches about 14, spins about 3,000, 2,800. That's nice numbers. It's, it's really, really good. I, um, I don't think I've seen you with this in the shaft yeah. lately, though. So that's a 10 C1K orange. Mm -hmm. 60X. 60x interesting uh, so a little bit higher balance point uh, just kind of keeps that swing weight d4 when i really like it obviously i was playing ventus um blue 7x yep it and just feels a little bit kind of at times it just feels a little heavy a little heavy okay yeah so this this is a 70 gram shaft effectively right um and obviously cut to length I just prefer the balance of uh, of this guy i, I just i'm in love with the tensi 1k range the last but not least Semi surprised because some people already saw a couple of videos where we talked about this. Original Sim. It's as good as it gets for me. I've done, I mean, I've tested again so much. I, even yesterday, I, I, I built more shafts and tried, I tested TSR3 yesterday. It wasn't thinking, giving you the same numbers. Really? I can't get close to the same numbers with the TSR. Ball speed wise, very similar. This launches about two degrees higher than TSR and it spins about 400 less. Okay, so it's really the launch and spin that is the difference. Yeah. Like ball speed wise, there's probably stuff that keeps up, but not on launch totally. and spin. Yeah, it, yeah. It just, yeah, total package wise, nothing keeps up. And it's very good on the low strike, which is why I love the ping. Right. Early in the season, we talked about that in the video I done at yeah. the start of the season, you know, hit it you know, in that bottom third, and it would spin at 25, 2600. Yeah. This does the same, but hit it in the middle and it launches at 14, spins at 21. Right. It's just it's yeah, a ton of distance out of that. So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, and I've seen carries this uh, last few weeks out of this thing that I have not seen out the driver mm. in, you know, best part of a year and a half. So back into kind of being 290 plus uh, on the carry, which I, I just can't carry the can't thing get that with far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I the Titleist. And shaft wise, we're 50 grams instead of 60 in the three, but otherwise the same shaft. Yeah, so effectively, nice. it's, a, it's a 60 gram shaft in the driver and a 70 gram shaft in the three wood. Mm. But to get that, because it's an X flex, you have to go 50X and 60X. Versus the 60 would be closer to 70. Exactly, and, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's just, you know, the way the shaft the way specs, uh, the head specs go. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, this head it is uh, three grams heavier um, oh, yeah. Then I have another sim, uh, a retail version. This is a this is the tour head that we got originally oh, right. with the little plus marker. Um, three grams heavier in the head weight, hmm. and again went back and forth between the retail he head and the tour head. Um, this one has a duller sound and feels more solid. Um, not much in it in the numbers, to be honest. There really wasn't Pretty, anything. Just a little bit of a feel thing. Yeah, a little Balancing. bit of a feel thing. To be honest, it was probably hot melted on, on the tour mm. at some point because I checked sense. the weights in the back and the weight at the front, they're the same. Right. So the extra so weight in is there, something uh, internal. So would explain the sound. Yeah, yeah, they're being a bit more solid and done. Cool. Exactly. Very cool. Okay. Is so, that going to last the season? It is. Uh, it's got it, a I chance. I intended to be. I mean, you know what? One thing I, I think I've came to realize, Matty, is that 
if something better comes along, I'll always try it. You definitely, yeah, I'll you're always, always testing. It. And that's yeah. fine. If that's the way, a lot of guys are like that. Definitely. I think people underestimate that. There's tour players that test stuff constantly. Exactly. It doesn't mean it's going to make the, make the bag. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Without a doubt. So, uh, so, you know, I'll try some stuff. I don't know, I don't know of anything coming out this, this summer, though, that's going to, going to even challenge it. It's an off year for no, Titleist. No other woods will it's be coming out. It's an iron out. year for them. Yep. Uh, no one else. I mean, I've, I've hit Paradigm. Like, it's good. Titleist ping, great. Aerojet, Excellent. great. Yep. But none of them have the, the kind of the ability to separate launch and spin the way that, that sim much. does. Yeah. Um, you see guys, Sergio's back using it, Morikawa's using it. Mm. Um, I mean, it's it's a heck of a driver, and it was a love at first sight, as you always say. You said. definitely did, yeah. I yeah. probably still have that footage somewhere when you took the head cover and went, oh, hello. I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, three woods at 43, guys. Drivers at 45 and a half. Yep. Uh, D4 swing weight on both. Um, Golf Pride Tour, uh, Golf Pride MCC, uh, so the uh, just a standard size, yeah. Yep. So not not the plus four, just the standard. Standard size, two full wraps. Two full wraps. Yeah, two okay. full wraps uh, on there. So into the ball, Pro V1. So how come Pro V1? Uh, obviously, people remember you kind of going back and forth with some different golf balls. Usually, I would say you gravitate towards the higher spin I ball, do. same as I do. Generally. So Pro V1 is a little bit different in yep. that sense. What? Basically this versus Pro V1X, so I'm assuming was your last decision. Mm -hmm. So this one gives me the ability to flight it down easier. Yeah. I'm quite comfortable hitting it high, you know, with me, whether that's that shallow out angle of mm. attack, ball position forward, maybe a little bit of a cut. Um, what is harder for me when I get a high spin ball is bringing the uh, flight okay. down and knocking spin off. Especially in the wind and yeah, stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this, this allows me to play in the spin window I like uh, a little bit more. Um, just, just perfect balance, hmm. and I've grown to really like the softer feel. I never used yeah. to like a soft feeling golf ball at all. Uh, I always liked hearing a little something off the face, a little, sure. little bit of a click was always quite nice. But um, it's nice to chip and pop with. It really is. Really is. It's yeah. a, it's a nicer experience. Yeah. 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 So uh, really, really good on uh, on that. Um, accessories, Arcos, and everything. I was going to say there's there's the sensors, not the grips, and all of them. Yeah. That lets you obviously make a few changes if you want to. <laughs> you never know. You never know. But okay, uh, everything has an Arcos. Everything has Arcos uh, in there. Glove. Fujoy, Pure Touch. Nice. Little supply of those in there. Little uh, trinkets bag. Lovely. This was actually I think a Callaway giveaway at oh, some point, Matty nice. Boy. But this is where the Torque wrench lives. This is where an old school Scotty. Oh, that's nice. I remember these. Yep. This one, the Studio Select first it was, came out. It was. That was the one that used to attach to the, the, oh, to the, the head cover. Head cover yeah. That's cool. We've got the uh, sexy little TXG. Coin of Destiny. Coin of Destiny that's used in the bracket, as seen in the bracket. Love it. Um, so I'll take that out so I won't forget it. And um, yeah, that's that's something I carry with me everywhere. Tees, little ball markers, nice. all that sort of stuff from different places I play. Sweet. Is in there as well. Little groove it brush. Trusty brush, keep those grooves clean. Yep. Uh, last but not least, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's again another, another change to the bag. Um, you know, I had been using various systems. Stack. Rip, uh, rip stick, yep. uh, stack, um, slingshot, which I really, really like as well. Mm. For me, super speed, super speed made it back in the bag out of convenience and track record in history. Mm. I've had success with this more than any other system that I've ever had. And I think it's because it takes me 10 minutes, and I do time it, it takes me 10 minutes to do my, uh, my sort of protocols right. with this. Right. And it takes me over 20, 25 to do it with any other system. Makes a difference. Yeah. Adds up, yeah. And I'm more likely to actually do it if, it, if I can do it in a, in a more condensed, uh, we're all the same, oh, for it's sure. just out of convenience. Yeah. So, um, Back onto this, obviously PRGR Black is my speed tracking system. Um, I'm on week, I think week two now, uh, I think it started last week with the speed stick. So nice. uh, I just, I really find it helps, obviously speed, but kinematic sequence, especially the step drills. Yeah, the step drills are very yeah. good. Yeah. When, when you kind of swing the club forward, swing it back and then step towards the target, that feeling of creating that big stretch in yeah. your body, that's actually what really allows me to kind of get big leaps mm. in, uh, in my speed. Um, so again, I just, I love following the protocols. They're on YouTube, it's free. There's no, 
paid subscription to it. You Simple, literally just it, yeah. need the sticks, yeah. and uh, and off you go. Nice. Do you use them to warm up at all, or are you just doing? Yeah, that? yeah. I'll uh, I'll use it to I'll use it to warm up. I'll use the the heavy one for deliberate reps, like uh, we we yep. talked about with some of the priming reps uh, that I do with the smart ball as well. Um, so I, yeah, I, I use it for a bunch of different things, even just across the back and you know, stretch and a lot of stretching, yeah. holding it for balance while you stretch the hips out, leg swings. I do a lot of that stuff, open up the the hip joints. Yeah. Um, now I'm getting that little bit older, Matty boy. <laughs> Got to be prepared. Got to do it. Got to do it. Nice. Okay. So that is so the, the bag. bag's ready to go. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it. There's a I few like clubs it. I think that. Uh, again, we'll be in a bit of a rotation. Sure. Uh, I'm definitely curious about this mini driver. This thing is, is really, really interesting to me. Um, Burner Mini. Burner Mini. Again, so this is the 11 and a half mm -hmm. that, you've, that you've been testing? 1K white in this one? 60X in, uh, in there in the white. How long do you have this built to? 43 and three quarters. Okay, so three wood ish, yep. a little bit longer. A little bit longer than three wood. Shorter uh, than driver. Very easy to hit off the ground. That's is the it? surprising thing. Really? Really Even easy. with that little amount of loft. Mm -hmm. yep. Interesting. Really easy. Uh, it's about off the tee when I really kind of kind of swinging at it. It's about 158, 159 ball um, off the deck or, or just a smooth swing. It's like 155, 156. Very, very straight. Hmm. Um, you got the weight, heavier weight yeah, back, which I, back. I would imagine gives it a little bit more friendly flight. Yep. 11.5 turned down to um, 10. You're two. one tick away from yeah. the lowest. Yeah, so. yeah, that's the two degree sleeve. So I've actually got it turned down to 10. That's why it's so shocking to me that it's very easy yeah, to get off the ground. The, the, the center of gravity must be fairly low in this. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, very low back kind of allows you to kind of kick it up. So um, I cool. do think there'll be times this year where I want to experiment taking driver and three wood out. And put this in. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and maybe it's a round where I need, you know, I need five wood and, and a, you know, four hybrid and an extra wedge or something like that. There's, there's going yeah. to be times where I think- space. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. That would be cool. Turn two to one. I'm, I'm just, I want to try it anyway and see what it's like. I just think if you go play a course for the first time that you're not quite got your bearings, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if this thing can just kind of safely guide you around a course you don't know. If you're not giving up that much yardage, which it doesn't sound like you are, no. and the straight factor's there, yeah. I think it's definitely, this is probably the most successful launch I've seen for a mini driver. It actually looks like people are considering playing it. Definitely. Normally it's a bit of a novelty, but yep. it does seem like they got something definitely right with this mm -hmm. formula. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, we'll have to, or we're still going to test this obviously we on are. the channel, we but I'm um, cool to see that it might make it in there for a few rounds. Yeah, yeah, we shall see. Okay, nice. So guys, that is the, that is the bag. Um, Sweet. Some surprises for sure. Yep. I think maybe the Mizzou, the irons probably. I think just a surprise. Yeah. I as I said, there. I've always known PXG makes really nice stuff. I've just never. I don't think for either of us, no. maybe there wasn't the perfect set recently since they started stopped making the T model. But now that they have yeah. this out, I think a lot of people in the lower handicap range will take a look at these. They're great. I like the T T's. I've got a set home. I, I really did like them. I love the shape of them. There's just something about this feel. Um, that's that's different even from Agreed. that. I think just a, a hollow body and uh, and, and obviously just a, a traditional cavity mm. mass right behind the obviously the strike. Good point. It is it's incredible, and I've had people try them. You know, Scott Cox, he was hitting them oh, uh, last he? week. He, like he was shocked how soft they felt. It's and high he, praise. He loves he a mirror and, and yes, uh, that type of iron. So. Uh, even just the detail around the the hosels and stuff like that. They've done a great job. The milling, milling is so marks. Nice. Yeah, the milling's really nice. Yeah. Just, just, I'm, I'm so happy with them. I really am. It's, mm. it, it, it actually is the exact iron I've been searching for. Yeah, it, it seems really that is. Way. So, uh, Sweet. over the moon. Can't wait to get them out on the course, Matty yep. boy. Get some divots for those babies. We shall try it, weather permitting. That's right. Um, you're up next. Yeah. We're not that close though, were you? No, You're I not haven't tested much. I haven't really been tested. I've been practicing, but not really much equipment stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I got a little bit of work to do, but we will film this for me in the not too distant future. Yeah, yeah. Um, make a decision on some. Uh, I think I've decided my three wood. I'm not going to blow the. Awesome. I'm. I've been playing with one for a couple rounds. I've only played twice this year, but mm -hmm. in the simulator as well, it's been nice. So I think right. I've decided on that. Um, but I got to make a final driver decision for sure. That's a big one. I think this uh, this driver bracket is maybe just uh, turning kind of your head me the way. a little bit. It is, without spoiling anything, although you've probably watched it all by now. If but you have. If, if you, you haven't, have. go watch. Yep. So yeah, that'll, uh, be good. that'll be good. Looking and forward then to it. obviously, uh, been a while since you replaced wedges. My wedges need to be replaced. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I may go the same route you did, just kind of refresh mm -hmm. the same ones, because I really like my Vokies. Yeah. Um, I might just get new ones, get fresh grooves and SM9s, but um, we'll make that decision as well. Okay. Kay. Okay. Well, um, 
work to be done for Matty and, and we'll just we're gonna we'll film the journey, we'll document that, uh, trying different Definitely, stuff. Yeah. PXGs and Cobras are the two irons. I have choices. two those are the two sets of irons I have now. So um, we'll, we'll kinda of go between those? I think so, yeah. I are mean, you gonna go Arcus this year and, and track your stats? <sighs> T B D. T B D. I don't know. You don't like know to I, be out there and just... I like to space out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I overthink most things in my life. I like to go on the golf course yeah. and try to be a yeah. little more detached. So mm -hmm. I'm not against it, but I'm leaning towards maybe not. Right, yeah, right. But we'll see. Okay, okay. Well, we shall see if that makes its way into Matty's bag and what else. Uh, that's my bag for the year, guys. Uh, next stop, the golf course. we got to yeah. get out of the golf course. Finally. It's just about there. So we are talking about having a monthly match where we're out there in the course and uh, filming it. You guys have been asking for it. We're happy to do it. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you again soon.